Hey, you guys, we are back to do another review of Married at First Sight. It had a little crazy name. I was trying to get the title, but his name, not the Carla. So, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and get it to a long and strong and honey, put your sleep. We keep it real. What's going on, Coed Camp folks? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife right here. Courtney, also known as Coco. She's still recuperating. She's still trying to recover from a procedure. So show her a little grace. Show her a little love. Okay. This here is Courtney and Ed. This channel is all about relationship reviews and entertainment. And tonight we're gonna be talking about Mary at First Sight. That's right. This episode to me was kind of lackluster. It didn't have lackluster. I said lackluster. I thought it was lackluster. Oh, uh, lackluster. Cause they ain't had no luster. So it was lacking of lusters. The lusting. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, it was like, eh. Go ahead. So if you're brand new to this channel and subscribe yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the like button. I think um the likes were pretty good on the last video. One of them videos we did that. Um, but yeah, make sure y'all hit that like button, please, please, please. You know, I had somebody comment to say, man, I, I ain't seen y'all in a minute. Y'all was like out of my algorithm. Like if you don't support by cash app and or joining our Patreon, doing any of those things, becoming a member, you don't support that way. Please just try to make sure you hit the like button, y'all. Um, so let's hit, dive into it. Hit the like dang on the button, okay? God, it don't take that much energy. Just find the thumbs up and hit it. Yep. I guarantee you, if it was a Twinkie there, y'all be hitting it. Mm. <sighs> it hit I think you're going to say $20. Oh, life's too expensive. $20 ain't, ain't going too far. And not to stay day. on this topic, I know that you, some of you guys just don't understand. But like I said before, it helps to push us in the algorithm where people that haven't seen our content in a while can see it. Okay? All right. I'm getting fat, y'all. I keep talking about fat people. I'm getting fat. I'm becoming a fat person. Army. Yeah, even his granddaughter said I was a, a bubble. So, oh, well, I guess I float away. Float away. <laughs> <laughs> float away. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I went back because I wanted to see, because some of y'all said Michelle said she wanted a black man. Not just a black man. What kind of black man? And, you know, I, I knew kind of that she was very detailed about what she wanted. But I went back to when, you know, couple of episodes ago and she said that she wanted a tall light skinned black man why you gotta be light skinned why you just can't be a black man so she was very particular about what she wanted and you light skinned you I'm got not, tattoo he he is biracial but i'm not sure that's part of light skin I, I, I know but it's it's so hard to really and truly see if it's hard to tell if he's black you know what i'm saying like i don't know what his father is you know i'm not sure what his mother is you know maybe italian or or something she look but, she look hawaiian to me or something yeah Hawaiian. and i'm not sure if his dad is but you know just looking at him yeah he looked like he can be identified as a black man or a biracial man mixed with black but you know, light skinned guys are light skinned people are mixed with something that's what they like Dude, I got two black parents. Oh, because I ain't about you. You black. You black and the black. black Don't black. you? And your sister is a light, light complexion, uh, and she, she has two black parents. Uh, she, uh, no, her dad is half Korean. But that does not make her half Korean. It makes that her quarter Korean. And, but she's black. Though. But yeah, she, but she the is point black. is, she mixed she with something. Black parents. But she still mixed with something. But what I'm saying, what you tell me, so everybody that light skin is mixed with white. Somewhere but the point the I'm just saying, you, when you light skin, you mix with something, okay? When you dark skin, you mix with something. Hey, it got probably a little bit, yeah, you probably honest. right. But when anyway. you light, you got more of that potent stuff in there. Let's when you dark, on. you ain't that, you ain't Let's got that on. stuff. You, you more pure. Mm -hmm. 
Moa. Here. <laughs> So um, she said that she wanted to, you know, like I said, a, a tall, light-skinned black man. And then one of her friends was like, oh, okay. You know, so if you want a man, you know, of course she said she wanted a man with tats. And he, she wanted a vanilla man with two tattoos. She wanted a man that tatted was tatted up. up. And her friend was like, okay, tats and a man bun. And she said, oh, yeah, I'm feeling that. Well, the question is, the guy she's just describing, but she wants the guy to be self-sufficient to have a good job okay but if this guy's tatted up with a man bun what are you gonna be working at corporate america no they they have sleeves yeah but a bun though well when i think a bun i'm thinking of is she talking about a man with dreads oh hopefully she said dreads because when they put their dreads up in corporate america it's in a bun right but you're not gonna see a lot of brothers in in corporate America dress. You see some, but not that many. It's quite a few. Depends on where you go. Especially uh, like, like in Atlanta or even just an entrepreneur or something like that. You know, so yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But the point is, I'm just saying, a man bun and tied she up. She must have seen it. She must have had it before, honey, because she was very well, she should, detailed well, what, and descriptive yeah, well, on what What happened to her then? Oh, well, you know. Okay, then. I'm just saying, man. Come on, Michelle. And you know, why you gotta be light skinned? That's what I'm still stuck on. Is you offended? No, I'm not offended, but you, you know, you on a brother, man. Jeez. Okay, so that's too much on that, honey. That, that that's taking over the whole show. We still got more to go. And so that's why she got what she got now. Nah, I'm on the corner mad. So the name of the show <laughs> was Never Forget About Carla. That was the name of it. Never forget about Carla. Yeah, you. Sh- heck, I won't forget about Carla either. Or what she did to him. But go ahead. So, um, so you, you got learn today. <laughs> so you got Ike and M. They are talking about, you know, um, as far as they're they talking talk about, about really. yeah, most of them want to talk about nothing for real, nothing to, to review on. But anyway, so they were just talking about as far as their dating and all that stuff, whatever. And you know, he asked her, did she want children? Because he, hey, he broke up with a girl that didn't want kids. So you know, um. But find out, yes, yeah, that she does want kids and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. Like I said, me personally, it'd be hard for me to bring a child into the world right now. That's just my personal opinion. But they also talk, well, I would hope not. You're over 50. So, yeah. Like, stop saying that. Like, you, stop you, saying if that. I was to have a baby right now, you think you're going to come out with some pinna loafers on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they said older guys, the babies come out look like, oh, oh man. <laughs> you think you're going to come out? <laughs> A pin of over the smoke on a black and mild. I'm so <laughs> Driving the Cadillac at the womb. <laughs> I would say driving the truck. Uh, but, uh, Cadillac at the womb. But, and also, they was also saying, listen, you know, everything going so smooth right now, but it's going to be some bumps in the road. So it we sure. might as well prepare for that. It and sure they keep really. saying it. You know what I'm saying? And and it's true, like you can't just go on in La La Land and think that you know y'all trying to get to know each other. Y'all gonna have some conflicts and some disagreements. Uh, you gotta understand they still at, they still in the honeymoon phase phase uh, phase right now. Are they are they really? <laughs> they still I, no, they like I, that French. No, I, I I heard what you said last uh last video about Ike and uh, M M&M. and this episode I saw I saw what you was talking about. It's no to me. It's no chemistry there, like you said. It's like buddies, friends, and that's why he probably did say she's like one of the homies, right? Because it's no romantic chemistry between them two. Like you know it's what I'm a saying? holding hands, or you know, look. Okay, so you don't have to be sexual, but I mean, like having sex, but I mean, you should no be some intimacy, sexual chemistry, yeah, no you know? intimacy like between kissing, them. Like kissing, oh uh, like yeah, that. and like somebody said, I don't know. You said it, or somebody come and said it. When they on camera and around, around the other couples, they want to hold each other, oh, hold yeah. their hands and whatnot. But when they by themselves, it's like they just kicking it. Yeah. So. Um, and when he, you know, it's like he's like he's trying to, he keeps, well, I'm trying to take my time. I'm not trying to force nothing. But, bruh, you're not even doing anything, right. man. Because most men, if you really into this woman, it's going to be hard for you to keep your hands off, right. even if it's just like, you know, a rub or touch or something yeah, like that. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, so Thomas and Camille, they're doing the salsa dancing. I, I definitely see the white side of Thomas. Hey, leave Thomas alone. You leave yeah, us brothers man. alone that don't have no rhythm, man. Hey, I, I, leave I, us that's alone. Why I say, hey, we shake your tree. Got to be some white up in there because, child, you don't have no rhythm either. 
I said, okay, Thomas ended up getting it, you know. But I said, if it was Eddie, he'd be stepping on toes on the concrete to the sand to the water. I don't know. All, all, all joking aside, I really don't know why I don't have rhythm. I don't understand it, man. My my brother got rhythm, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have it. Maybe it's music that you um acquire. Like the music that you listen to really you don't require for you to have a uh, Yeah, a, a, but a rhyme it, or but rhythm. you know, I listen to all types of music, you, you know? Do. And but even when I listen to the dance music, uh the, the hip hop music, the R B, I just don't have no rhythm. I don't understand. It's frustrating. I mean, yeah. And when I was going to the club, I see all my boys out there dancing with the women and stuff. And here I am on the sideline in the corner drinking my beer because I can't dance. You know what I'm saying? And no woman don't want to dance with a man with no rhythm. Amen. Oh, but, so when I did dance, I had to do my little two step. Then find somebody in the crowd to point at with my beer. Hey, what up, dog? You know, that's what I'm like. <laughs> so he go mad, Michelle and David. So they sitting down having a conversation. So um he asked her is it like is it anything that i can do you know um you know so they finna do the little paddleboard or whatever and so he was like is it anything i can do she was like well you know like when he, like just don't talk to me like what she said she last time she said you talk at me and she was like you know i don't like that i'm saying girl if anything, you talk at him i don't understand you yeah. talking about he talk at you like you said last time when a person really don't like you, any little thing they do is going to, you know, irritate them. It's going to get on their skin. And that's what's happening right, right now. She just don't want David in her presence. At all. And David, bless his little heart, he's trying. But, bros, every once in a while, you just got to give up the white flag and you say, call it a day, man. Mm -hmm. But this is what you asked for, the bleach blonde. She ain't bad built now. I mean, you know what I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I, I mean. I, 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 was, I wasn't even getting it out of my mouth. Like, yeah. you know well, I mean. she ain't bad built, though. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I, was, I was trying to okay. al alleviate okay. that okay. word, okay. but I was just going through. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think about white side? Well, she ain't bad built, though. I'm just saying, man. You know, okay, so yeah. let's move on. But he got his bleach blonde blue eyed woman. So that's what he got. Hey, that's what you want. But bro. she didn't want him though. The genie in the bottle gave you what you wanted. But yeah, she don't want you, huh? Um, so yeah, they doing the paddle boat and stuff like that. Cause she said, you know what? I'm here. I'm just gonna relax and I get in my own head and I'm just gonna enjoy this time in Mexico because I ain't been able to enjoy. I've been mad, mean, acting like a mean girl the whole time I was here. So I'm just gonna chill. So they were doing the paddle bowling and it looked like she was laughing and enjoying herself, at least a little. So Carl and Juan, they're at dinner. And so, you know, they did show us a clip where David was spending time with Juan because, you know, he, he ain't got nobody else to spend time with. So I think Juan feels a little, you know, sorry for him because David going through so much with his wife. They got bromance going on, man. And so, you know, Juan evidently just likes to have fun. Which questions is Juan on this show for the right reasons? You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all feel that somebody said that, you know, he was on here probably trying to get up his business. And I made a little, uh, you know, I said a little something about that because he keep um, the app, the app, the app. Yeah. But is he on here for the right reason? He on here to build up his Instagram, to build up his business, and just to have fun because he just seems to have fun. Mm, yeah, especially when you go make the comment he made to call her. Yeah, I kind of see, I can see y'all point, you know, assuming that because, man, you know, I understand, you, you know, you meet new guys, you meet new guys, and you have fun, you know, y'all, you know, trying to get y'all a little, you know, Y'all has excitement on and doing 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 what bros do, but you come on the show to get married, man, not to be a frat boy, right? You know, and, and to me, he do have that frat boy, uh, personality, yeah. You know, and uh, when I say frat boy, y'all know what I mean. You know what I mean? College kid, a frat. Wow, you looking at the camera? You looking at me? Oh, you, know, you too. I know what you a know? frat. Duh. I know it's a fraternity and a sorority. I know. I'm not Twitter. So let's move on. Uh, yeah, so, like... and you, you act too. So, uh, so Carlin won it when they was at dinner. One was like, you know, yeah, I spent some time with David today. It was nice. I'm you in know? love with David. He was like, oh, I even forgot that it, we was on this honeymoon. I was here with you. Why would you say that, one? First of all, 
you got a nice looking wife and you gonna tell her you forgot about her because you hang with a dude, that don't even sound right to me. You know what I'm no. saying? He just got caught up. And I know he don't know Carla like that. Come they still on. getting to know I, each other. But I yeah, I agree. I know Carla. Some stuff is just your inner thoughts. It shouldn't be at your mind. When I hang out with the homies, man, I don't forget about you. You better not. Ever. I mean it. I started to say something. But yeah, man. He... But when you hang out with the homies, let's go back with that. Try he don't. <laughs> I ain't got with that. You know, that's why. I like, I'll forever stay within your mind, child, because if it ain't working, then it's home. I really don't have no friends. So it's it's working home. That's it. (laughs) But yeah, man. uh, But yeah, man. One, that was just like, come on, man. You don't say that to your wife, especially y'all just got married, man. And Carla was like, huh? You did what? And it didn't phase him. He said it and he was. He kept moving. Yeah, he kept kept moving. moving, So it really, truly. You know, but Carla was like, oh, she caught that. Like, mm, hold up. She okay. called it, put it in her pocket. And she she, said, I'm going to use it, honey. Oh, hold on to this right here. But she was saying as far as her day, she was like, everything is just so heavy with, like, all the other couples the and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, and I just had to decompress from all the negative energy that I feel and stuff. So that was pretty much, you know, uh, my day. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, that's the part where he said he forgot about her. So people, uh, All right, for yourself. Uh, so um, <laughs> he said that, you know, people also, I think it was another thing, too. He was like, you know, people just taking a lot of stuff serious, you know. He said, I'm a person that like to laugh. Like, I understand serious moments, but, you know, I like to laugh and have fun. Well, we can see that. So Thomas and Camille, they, um, well, Thomas and Camille, she had made a statement that said that you know she noted that thomas is more of a suburban guy she mostly you know she used to kind of like the rb guys uh, what she saying uh, hey break it down in, in layman's it, term it, uh, he's a square and a nerd from the suburb she she used to the hood dudes you know what i'm saying i said come on man because the guy carries himself a certain way speaks a certain way doesn't mean he's a square well, you know I think saying? I don't think that she's going by just that. She's getting to know her. I don't understand background. that, but because sometimes you can't help your background, you know what I'm saying? But it don't mean you less black, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You just race different. Well, it not less black because you can't change, you know, yeah, your your race. Yeah, you but, well, you, but I'm just saying your personality. That, you could be less ethnic. You know what I'm saying? No, so yeah, yeah, definitely, you can definitely do that. Huh? That's the same thing. Color is color. You can't Ethan, change uh, black. What's the yes. ethic? What, what's the ethic? Ethic? I don't yeah. know. I don't well, know ethnicity. What, what is that? It's mean your culture and all that stuff. Okay. Whatever. So yeah, okay. that's the way I look at it. Not you know bad. what I'm saying? Your culture, what you you know listen to, how, what you grew up as. You know the slang, the you know the moves of being. You know. Uh, so okay, so I, I can agree. That's what I look at. I, 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 I Yeah, I, I can agree with that. But still, you know. Because this man come out of a different box, don't mean you know you got to question his blackness though. My, that's just my personal opinion. I don't think she questioned. Think well, she, she said. No, she said it. But, but that's just on the confession. What she was just saying mm-hmm. that you know she she he seems a little more suburban and she used to argue. But apparently so, she questioned it or said something about to him. We so haven't got to that part yet. But I'm just letting you know I'm skipping to that part have right to let now. Me know. But I'm skipping to that part right now. So you I'm, look like you skipped a lot. <laughs> So circling to that point right there, you know what I'm saying? Because she did confront him or say something to him about it. He took offense to it. Yeah. So apparently, either that bothers her some way, or uh, uh, she, like she said, she's not used to it. But, you know, I'm just saying, I don't see the big issue, in my opinion. Because you never... Let's move on. What do you mean? Yeah. You're saying, uh-huh. you're about to say. I'm gonna say that for when we was talking about. This. I've been, so I've been called the same thing. You know, I'm saying, you know what you mean? Okay, well, that's your preference. If you don't feel like I'm black enough for y'all. So Carla and Juan, this is when she was <laughs> on the camera. She was just saying, okay, so dude said that he forgot about me, forgot I was even here and stuff. So I'm gonna do return the favor and do the same. And so I don't know. They was going somewhere, and um, uh, what he didn't have. She I didn't provide the back. It was a little what, confusing. Know. Yeah, it was confusing. It was kind of chopped up, in my opinion. Yeah, it was like they, they were supposed to go somewhere swimming or something. So I don't know if she didn't provide the bag or whatever. So he had to use like a little clear bag. That reminds me when, when we. No, were, no, don't put me in. Don't put me in. Don't put me in. Yeah. So that reminds uh, remind me of when we went when to When she California. went, 
because she didn't bring the the, the bags we were supposed to have brought, and she had me walk around there, dang on Las Vegas on a dang on damn we trash in, bag. We yes, were in Las Vegas. We were in California. We we left Las Vegas because we were walking well, through the lobby. Tell, okay, we, or me. the point is we were walking through the lobby, like everybody walking around with suitcases and backpacks. We had trash bags basically. No, we had the bags from the hotel. Yeah, well, it's still like trash bags for me. So we had bags from the hotel, yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Well, let's just use these bags." And, Thank you. You so, said that. Yeah, yeah, I did. And so we went to the yeah, beach we with look those all, bags, but that's how we look. And it goes, "Ooh, we y'all look crazy. Look, y'all look so Bama and country." I said, like, "Yeah, we all from Bama." So, but she said the one we're gonna learn today. So yeah, uh, so let's move on. So you got Al- Allen and you got Madison. So uh, they going to the healing process basically, and so. Um, they was, you know, basically she was just calling out. She was saying you, as far as Alan, that, you know, you kind of like talk too much. And as far as Madison, you know, she a different person on the inside than she is on the outside. And then, um. Hi, these women on this show, this season, they just straight up blunt and mean for no reason. You know. Who said that? Huh? Who said that? I mean, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because. I, she cut Allen down sometimes, you know what I'm saying? The way he dressed, you talk too much. Then you got uh, me and Michelle doing David the same way, you know. And, you know, he's like, man, you know. Um. So, yeah. So Yeah, you know, also Camille, Tom, uh, Tom said, basically, oh, you a square, you a nerd. I'm not used to you. I like that thug passion. That's Go ahead. what she said. Hey, so that's what I take from it. That's why I take from it. you. Can take what you want to take from. It. That's because why I take from. Because we didn't see the scene, so we I don't, don't care. Said. But the way he was lashing out in the confession, I, I that's where it took. He probably was a little sensitive. In okay, that I would too. Man. I'm struck a nerve with you. You need to be on the show, chat. <laughs> so Michelle and David, <sighs> they are um, they doing a scene. So of course, um, they doing cooking. Not of course, but they doing cooking. So they doing sushi. Um, so they eating dinner and they sitting down and talking yeah, and stuff ooh, like ooh, that. Uh, I can't eat raw sushi, man. I just can't do it. You ate raw sushi before? You know that uh, sushi is raw, so you ain't got to say raw sushi. Uh, I think so it yeah, don't that's how, that's all the way. And y'all talking about I'm a nerd. Yeah, it's on nerd people you know about sushi. I know about shrimp and some catfish. That's First all. of all, you don't eat shrimp, so why you say that like? <laughs> But the poor I was trying to get that. Man, you know the, uh, the stuff that have parasites in them, right? You talking to them because this is a conversation we already had. Okay, so yeah. you're going to talk yeah. to them? Yeah. You need to be on that show, I too. I do, you're, too. Yeah, you're you bossing right. for no reason. It's a yeah, reason. man. You saw what happened to Keith Lee. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry. You kept me out on that stuff. Yeah. Nobody asked you to be counted in, Chad. Um, so anyway, yeah, so she, she asked and she was sitting down there, you know, David cursed, so he may say little cuss words here and there, whatever they have to bleep out. But she was like, uh, do you always cuss like that or whatever? And he was like, oh, my bad. She was like, yeah, I really don't like all that cussing. So yeah, you don't say one cuss word, man. So my, ain't like he out just saying MF or and stuff like that. God, she's so sensitive. Uh, uh, she does. Uh, yeah, somebody uh, like Carla on the, well, I was watching last week after party. When they showed the scene of how Michelle was treating him, Keisha asked her, what you would have did in this situation? She said, I would have said, be, be who you talking to like that. She said, I would have got up and left. And she she said it. So what I'm saying is that you think his cussing, oh, my gosh, but look what you're acting like. Like, you know what I'm saying? This man ain't cussed you out, and he probably could have every right to how nasty you are. But anyway, um, so they talked about that. They, uh, she kind of opened up about her upbringing. You know, he was asking her questions. I guess she didn't get too offended and stuff like that. So you know, so you got Juan and Carla trying to do this photo shoot, and I'm like, Carla, child, I, I was like, Mm-mm. I wasn't even trying to go up under the water or do none of that stuff. What you got to say about this? I ain't got nothing to say about it. Yeah. Uh. I would have asked for my money back. I hope them photos were free because I didn't even like them. Like, he didn't try to get her to do that. And she was like, mm, 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 I think I'm out. But she tried it one last time, but she's still in her feelings because of Warren, honey, on what he said. So, you know, he was, Warren was even noticing that. So she was just saying she wasn't on him to apologize for that. So you got Ike and M. They talking about, um, 
they talk about their past love and you know what they experienced and all that stuff and what it's like to love them and what they expect out of love and uh. um and have they ever been in love before so uh ike said he has been in love before and i think m said she has too or whatever so you know just like a little light conversation so thomas tells us this is the part that it had been itching to get to but uh he probably said all his piece on that but yeah, thomas tells okay thomas tells us that you know you know on on the little camera phone that he's talking to us and they got camille walking out tells us that you know they was having a conversation trying to get to know more about each other and so um basically she was saying you ain't black enough for me you know you ain't black enough to me um, i just said that i said that 10 minutes ago that's what she said basically you're not black enough. i'm not used to dating guys like you because you don't bl you're not black enough you, you don't have that culture as you would say and well, Tom, what they got to do with what I'm just saying. saying well, I, I, well, I was, I'm into I, the, the but I said, I said that, that that ten, but the point is, I said that ten minutes. Ago. Okay, well, okay, congratulations. That's the point, that's the point I was trying to say. Go okay, in there, I already have. I already have. Okay, and we can take. So, so and um, uh, and so he said, normally he don't take stuff like that person because he's heard it before, so it's nothing new. Um, but I guess he took it personal because you know he's really truly trying to impress her. And he don't want her to be turned off by that. So, you know. Yeah, that's. that's a, well, you remember you said all that 10 minutes ago. You ain't got nothing to say. That's, so that's, that's, a good that's, a, that's a good sticking point, man. You know, you trying to impress this woman. You married this woman. And the, f the first negative thing that came out of her mouth is like, oh, you're not black enough. I'm not used to dating guys like you because, you know, I don't feel like you're black enough, basically. Yeah, I'll be upset too. You know what I'm saying? So he said, man, I heard that all my life, you know. I got picked on and I had nowhere to fit in there because people said I'm not black enough or, or you know, you know, and just kind of, I was an outcast, man, him and his brother. So, yeah, man, I don't blame Thomas, man. Get mad. Voice your opinion. I'm mad for you. Shoot. Ain't nobody never said you ain't black. Yeah, yeah. Who, who, what they said. Give us yeah, the exact yeah. word. Well, this is my Def Leppard. You know, Def Leppard is the first cassette, uh, uh, how long ago was that? I was like late eighties, early nineties. Mm -hmm. I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I said, "Why are you listening to white people music?" I said, "I like it, white boy, white boy." No, I they didn't say white boy. No, I don't think they white boy. White boy. What? What you said? They said white boy. Yeah, they said white boy. Yeah. So I started. I started. I said, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. Lord said, you know, it's going to do her like that. <laughs> no, don't bring me a bit easy. <laughs> uh, it will slip down my mouth, too, but I ain't going to say nothing. It's called an edit, buddy. Mm -hmm. Go on. No, you was finished. No, you, you wrote a story. They flip it, and they said, white boy, white boy. I say nobody called you that. <laughs> but they did say, you know, why, why I listened to certain type of music, why I was a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? You know, they say, you know, they thought I hung around a lot of white people. No. No, no you did not. Not at the school you went to. No, was all black. High all school. black. It's just something. All I just, black. It was just something I in just in the black neighborhood. Smack dab in the. Mm -mm. Some people just have open minds. I was just one of the dudes that had open mind. Yeah. So I, I was, I know, I was willing to listen to anything. And, and hear anything well everything. one thing i can say about you that i've never dated somebody like you before you know what i'm saying not saying that you ain't black enough but you are different because normally some black people st stick to just black music you know what i'm saying <laughs> now when i was listening to gospel music and stuff like that because time change y'all it's just different but i would definitely open up my mind to listen to contemporary contemporary gospel music and stuff like that not just you know contemporary worship music and all that stuff but um but yeah it is a different breed to me somebody i've never dated or been with before because he is very open-minded you know one minute he like black pal then the next minute he was dating a white girl so i just didn't understand <laughs> And that's when you I was, was, was experimenting, man. I was doing black. research, man. I, was black, I, was, black. Then, uh, I had to go. I, I had to do research, man. I had to do so research, man. He's very open, you know what I'm saying, in that. So that regard. So I was doing uh, research, man. Again, I'm sorry. never dated somebody like him, but who my black queen? I want to be a black queen. 
Hey Sally. Hey Sally. And Sally. yes, I still listen to rock music, heavy metal music. I listen to all that. I wasn't talking about the but music. But I'm just saying. Yeah, I was yeah. just talking about your perspective. But anyway, um, so yeah, Juan and Carla, they um have a conversation, and um, she of course bring up the the thing again because you know he was talking about I think um you know spending time with. Um, David, David and stuff like that or whatever and so um, she was like yeah I know that that you so much forgot about me he said well you know it seemed like there was a passive aggressive move that you made um, you know when something like that happened just communicate let's talk about it you don't have to walk around you know like being angry and stuff you know because it's passive aggressive so, well I like how they kind of squashed that though and she yeah. said yeah you're right so next yeah. time I do have an issue I would just voice it you yeah. know, so I think that's grown folks conversations I think yeah. you should always be like that you know it'll do something honey I'm gonna be just like Carla should I walk around no you, yeah you sure do then even though you do something wrong I still gotta apologize I'm I, tired I, of doing I that still wanna know the ah, I'm so I, sick and tired of doing that I would not do that no more. If you do something wrong, I don't care how mad you trying to be, and you in the wrong, you gonna be in the wrong. You and you gonna apologize to me from now on. So I always gotta apologize first, okay. even though I don't do anything wrong. First of all, I need examples. I need times, date, or when that happened. Because if I'm wrong, then I tell you I'm wrong. I will apologize. I have no problem with that. But I, you can't tell me that I'm doing something and there is no examples or no none time stamp. So I need to know. Because if not, it's, it's so many of them. I can't think of them. I right can't now. think of any time where you apologize for my error. I, I that just don't sound logical. They really? really? Don't. I'm like one. Just communicate. Like, would you sit around apologize for my error? That's delusional. <laughs> so I get the hair done. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I think they also. I don't know what I put down here, child. Um. Mm. Um. So yeah. Get oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. Hold up, dude. I don't know. How, you know I'm on medication. Well, so, you want yeah. me to read your notes? No, because you can't read it. Because I, I can't read them. Did you? So yeah, you know. Oh, you. <laughs> oh God. Oh, God, drugs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, go ahead. So man. anyway, <laughs> she's talking, but they were talking about moving in together. Who? I'm still on one and car. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> so they were talking about moving in together. And so she was just saying, like, when she the type of person just kind of wanting you when I get home, I like 30 minutes of no talk. I want to decompress and stuff like that. And he was like, 30 minutes? How am I supposed to know, like, 30 minutes? I'm going to ask you how your day was and stuff like that or whatever. So I'm not sure how I'm going to vibe with that. See, that's how you learn one another, though, man. That's 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 just that's, that's the reason why it's an experiment because now you know, okay, she told me she needs 30 minutes. Yeah. Now I got to give her 30 minutes. So that's how you communicate, you, you compromise, and that's how you get to know one another. I agree. You know, because, yeah, some people, when they get off work, they don't want to hear nothing. You want to get home, eat, and de decompress. They don't want to hear you hear about your day because they had a rough day. You know, so. We ain't like that. Huh? We ain't like that. Huh? Huh? We ain't like that. Sometimes, we talk. Sometimes I wish we do. <laughs> sometimes I wish we do. I get home. Child, you know what happened at work? Now, first of all, I don't say that because we talk throughout the day. So whatever I'm giving you, I'm briefing you on the phone. So when we get home, it is it's not a whole bunch of conversations. Okay, let me tell you, when he get home, he's going to go straight to the bathroom. <laughs> And then he's gonna be in that kitchen looking for something to eat. So how can I communicate with him and when he goes straight to the bathroom? And he could be in there a good 15, 20 minutes. So, you know, you it know, just depends. You know why I go to the bathroom? That's my that's my safe space. That's my that's my that's my zen space. Okay. Okay. That's my zen. And then you're gonna go to zen yourself to the kitchen, find something to eat, uh, you know, when I cook some or whatever the case may be. So yeah, you're gonna find something to eat, then you're gonna Take yourself, you will say a little words to me, uh, or whatever. Then be like, yeah, I had a long day. Then you gonna roll yourself downstairs. I roll myself. I walk downstairs. Yeah, okay. you do. And then you go downstairs and you plop down there next thing you I know. Sit. You get, I don't plop. And then you're gonna hit and that's when he's gonna be playing the little video game. 
And that's pretty much it. So, you know, hey, if he want 30 minutes, take 30 minutes, an hour, whatever you got to do, honey. And then you, and he'll you, come about two hours later and, <laughs> and want to come in and find me. Oh, because, I, yeah, because I'm, I'm decompressed. I got all that work stuff off me. Now I can talk to you. Okay, we'll go with that. So, um, <laughs> so all the couples are meeting up. So somebody asked the question, you know, I think it was Camille, you know, how's everything going with y'all and stuff? And so they were just saying, well, him and Michelle, you know, they decided to work on, you know, their just kind of work through some things. And so she was like, yes, yeah, work in progress. You know what I'm saying? We're going to move slowly. Um, the slow one, win the race or something like that. She, she ain't moving, period, man. Um, and Madison was just saying, as far as her and Alan, you know, um, she don't want to <laughs> change him. You know, Alan is very confident in what. Oh, what? What? She said. Well, she said, I said, huh? You don't want to change the man. Well, you on the flip side, I don't like the way you dress. I don't like the way you talk. Well, I guess she was saying she can't change him. Mm. Um, because you know he's <laughs> confident in his dress, you know, in his style and stuff like that or whatever. So you know, that's something that. But what I'm saying as far as a man, I know he may be confident confident in the way his style and stuff, but she can't add a little sauce if she knew how to talk to him and if he felt that she loved him, you know, he could change his appearance and some stuff that she could add to it. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? If a man feels like, you know, you into him like that, he's going to be willing to make that change for you. Yeah. But he, if he feels like you just talking, talking at him. And trying to change. Yeah. Him, he's going to, like oh, yeah. He's, I mean, fuck you, girl. Um, Camille asked a question, like, what are you guys' <clears throat> concerns, you know, when you move, moving in together? Like, what are your concerns and stuff? And Al was just saying, you know, how are we going to vibe in the same place, you know, because I, when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I cough a lot. You get that plan with it, though. <laughs> I got to clear my throat. I got to clear my throat. Uh, but, I was like, sometimes people that I be coughing, I've been coughing too lately, Ellie. Yeah. And also, man, I'm assuming the apartment has one one bathroom. Yeah. And to me, that, that's an issue right there, man, because I don't need you walking in your funk after you leave the bathroom, <laughs> you know? We have two bathrooms at home, and then when we travel, we like to have two bathrooms. Yeah, that's why know. we like to rent Airbnbs. Most hotels ain't going to have two bathrooms. But um, but yeah, we like to have our separate bathrooms a lot of times because he's gonna be in there two, three hours if he's doing the number two. Oh, no, I don't do that. Why are you putting? You that don't out? do that. Why I you, get out you. It, it evaporates. That's how you get out of me. So he has the whole there. routine on what he do when he eliminate waste. I'm like Carla. I'm like Carla. When I use the restroom, go somewhere. Leave. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to be. Walking by him in the bathroom. Yeah, that was my notes I was trying to read. Yeah, I don't know. Vice versa. If you're going to do something in the bathroom, let me know so I don't have to walk by the door. Yeah. Because I don't want to hear you grunt. Yeah. So, um, grunt? Yeah. Everybody don't have to get theirs out with a grunt. Yeah. I, I went to the bathroom at a gas station the other day. I was like, God. Hey, who let off a bomb? <laughs> And he was still in there. Then he got the nerve had some cowboy boots because you can see the stall. I was like, boy, you come out of the bathroom. I don't know who you <laughs> You know, when, when I was working in the office building, you know what I'm saying? You go in the bathroom and one of your coworkers be yeah. in there and then they light it up. But you look at them shoes, Yeah, child. you know, they you walk out the there, shoes. they walk around the office in the shoes. Yeah. You stink. <laughs> you so stink. <laughs> But um, so yeah, um, so Alan was talking about that. One was just saying, as far as him, he said, yeah, he like to have fun, but during the week, it's straight business for him. So you know, what I'm saying he like militant. You know, I guess he has a routine schedule. He said he like to get up in the morning time, take go in the pool and all that stuff or whatever. <clears throat> and that's why when when they went to the apartment. They said certain hours right. for the pool because I think he said four o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah, he go up four or five in the morning to go to the pool. And so yeah, so he has a routine. So I think Carla was like, okay, that's cool, but you know, sometimes she fun too, but something. But anyway, um, yeah. So let's see. Thomas said that as far as him, um. Medication. <laughs> Straight medication war. I knew I should have Thomas took set up. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. So, let's not talk about that. So, Thomas set up this romantic 
you know, he told Carla, hey, wait outside. I feel like, you know, I don't know. He told her something. Yeah, he said, wait outside. Let me go in here for a minute. I guess he had the flower petals in his pocket or something. I pulled them out, spray them on the bed, he spray them on the floor. Hard, you know, yeah, all they did not. Surprise and she said, come on in. And she came in. You know, and she was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We both said that. Yeah, right. I was like, I said, that's how she sound. You know what I'm saying? I, like, Man, I thought she'd be more excited to see that. but. Oh, uh, so yeah, you know, um, so she <laughs> did all that or whatever. So, you know, she went in there and changed clothes. And she said, I know I said about the little orange, like lingerie or whatever, but pretty much, you Man, know, I'm not ready. Yeah, for that. I'm not ready for that because you, you ain't thug enough, thug enough for that that's right now. That's not what she said. Yeah, that's basically what she was trying to get at that's because. What? Cause when she first met him, when they first went out to the honeymoon, she showed it to him. They were, ooh, I'm gonna show she you. She said it could be possible. Yeah. That she could do then that. she said, I gotta get to know you first. Then she found out, ooh, you lame, you a square. Now you don't get the long t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Thomas was thinking that I'm gonna set this up because yeah, yeah, that's what he, I know and that's I what think you're thinking. He was very disappointed. Yeah, I don't blame him. You know, hold on, hold on, long t-shirt, girl. Start a drop key. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so he, I think he thought he was gonna uh-huh. get some, and I think he was a little disappointed in in that or whatever. Uh, and then was. I said, well, maybe she waiting until the cameras leave, and maybe she got the little lingerie on the, on the t shirt and yeah, stuff. Whatever, so that's man. what I was thinking. Maybe yeah, she was gonna surprise him. You ain't thug enough. You up here look like Al be sure. I need somebody like Pac. Al be sure was fine back in the day. I know, but he was one, he was like a square. Was he? Yeah. No, he didn't. He yeah, didn't he... sing like no square. First of all, he can't sing. Okay, you heard you heard Abby Sure live before? Not live. Yeah, he cannot sing. He cannot sing. But um, so anyway, um, so yeah, let's him and Keith Sweat same thing. Yeah, Keith Sweat. Now he got a restaurant I want to go to. I sent you that on uh, on, on Keith Sweat. Yeah, yeah, he got a. It's in Douglasville. So yeah, he got a restaurant. I ain't no Keith Sweat guy. Oh, man, oh. yeah, I want to go to the restaurant. So I want to wine. Yeah, so what you gonna be <laughs> drinking wine and listen to wine? I used to get wine. mad with people talking about Keith All he do is wine, but he made some good music though. Oh, he made some good music. You can make good music and still wine, okay? Well, obviously okay. he made several. I mean, we were no Keith Sweat if it wasn't. And, and, and like I said, you don't even have to sing. You can make good music, man. Look at Abby Shell. Look at Keith Sweat. Look at. Uh, I want to. No, I ain't gonna say that name. I want them to come back and get me. Okay, but anyway, so let's move on. So they all packing, <sighs> um, and they all packing their stuff or whatever. So they have a little small conversation. So David was talking to Michelle, and he was like, "Well, you know, are you excited to get home?" <clears throat> She's like, "Yeah, I'm excited to get back. You know, kind of get plugged back in or whatever." So um, she said that. <clears throat> She said something. Oh yeah, he was talking about his schedule. And he was saying, you know, well, my schedule, you know, probably won't see each other because we're kind of gonna be passing in the night because, you know, I work two jobs and stuff like that. So when I come in, you know, I won't just, dis- I don't want to disturb you. Don't you know, like while you're sleeping and stuff. So I'm gonna get in the bed quietly. And she was like, huh? I, I'm not ready to sleep with you. Like uh, I'm not ready to be in the same bed with you. She's like, said, why? She said, hold up, wait a minute, let me kick some boom in. No, nah, dog, we ain't sleeping together. We can't and do so it. she was like, um, he was like, why? She was like, Well, I just don't feel there's a connection or anything like that. And I was like, Well, most of the time when they put these folks in their apartments, they have two bedrooms. So, you know, that's hey, we done seen that before. Couple be in two bedrooms forever. Um I don't at- want to lie. Lisa and Lisa and Kristen do that then. Who? Alisa and Chris. Why didn't Alyssa. Do Alyssa and Chris. Well, he didn't give her a chance. He said, no, we ain't get no pop. No, she wanted to be, oh, I get it one uh, week, and you get it next week. They could have just stayed in the yeah, same she, apartment, but different bedrooms. He discussed her. She discussed, he discussed her that bad. She didn't want to see him. It's, he didn't hang, hang with too aggressive. So, um, Allen and Madison, they are, uh, they, oh, Allen had found out that his friend passed away, you know, so, you know, they still at the resort and stuff like that or whatever. So, you know, um, she comforted him and, you know, he appreciated her for that. Yeah. So, you know, and he was like, I just seen this dude, what, two days before my wedding or something like that. Two days before the wedding. So, yeah. Um, so they gathering all their stuff together and they all meet, um, together. 
you know, having drinks and having a final drinks or whatever. So they all arrive in they, they different apartments, which I felt like this should have been on the next episode, honey, but they just drug it out on this episode. And why is the after party an hour long? I don't understand. I just don't understand the point mm. uh, because I don't watch it twice and there's nothing that's like, ooh, different or shocking or they dropping some tea or something. But anyway, oh, um, so I was, Madison was just saying that she said, listen, Alan, we, we in our own place and space now. I'm going to be upfront and honest with you. I really and truly want a man to go to the gym. She said, basically, she said, you out of shape. You shape funny. And you dress funny. And you <laughs> talk a lot. Funny. Yeah, you talk a lot. I said, dang, sister girl. And, you know, Alan, he was a champ. He said, I know I go to the gym. Well, what I got to do? I do it. But, but he did say, but I do active stuff. Like, you know, like if the I'll, pipes broke. I hold the drill with this hand. I said, come on, Alan. You reaching, brother. You reaching with that So right I'm there. being active in that area, active in this area. If that's the case, I'm active playing video games. Yeah, you is burning calories on little thumbs. So, um, but yeah, so he was just saying that he active. And so she was like, in your style, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, your style of clothes, your choice of clothes and stuff. So, you know. Those are the things that, you know, she want him to work on. Damn, well, Alan should say, well, I need you to work on your shoulders. Your shoulders are too broad for a woman. Yeah. You know, the thing is, I don't mind a woman working out, going to the gym, but you got to be careful, with, you know, of, you know, you being a woman because you don't want to be too hard. You don't want to be shaped like a man after you leave the gym. It, it's certain exercise. I was watching <laughs> this guy. It's certain exercise that women should not do if they want their body to be, you know, more of fit like a woman. You know, I've seen outlet. these women bodybuilders or whatnot. Okay. It's like they lose their hips. They straight up and down. They, then try they get, to do it. Then. Yeah, but they get broad. And, you know, it's competition. I understand why. But I have seen fitness women doing the same thing, too. You can be toned and fit, but still like a woman. You know, and some women they get carried away with it, and they, you know, they lose their shape. Mm -hmm. And you look from you look at them from behind, you think it's a dude. Mm. I will hope not. A dude with a tight booty. Dude with a tight booty. <laughs> so yeah, because I watched one um fitness guy, and he was like, women, in order to keep your hourglass figure, you know, because if you could exercise so much, you start looking like square, square pop. What's his name? Sparge. Sparge to build the nest that ministry. Ah, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. No, that's how you do. Square, I said SpongeBob SquarePants. That's how it is. What is it? That's how you do. That is. Don't no, act like I'm crazy. It, it, it is SpongeBob. It. No, it's Sponge Robert. For real. Sponge Robert. I done knocked that mic off. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> so, yeah, you'll be having a square figure instead of a hourglass figure so you definitely have to do watch what shapes you know we as women yeah and, and what i'm saying don't when you get this uh spongebob square pants figure don't run down to the uh, different country get these bbls and try to fix it it don't work either because i've seen some bad bbls some bad bbls some ddls well, on that note, you guys, that's all I wrote down because they were saying other uh, uh, little conversations that really true. Why do you keep doing that, that, man? Every time you do that, I think my friend sound. If I wasn't sure, the world would be complete. I know that, honey, because I watched me some free samples. I want my daddy records. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ooh, medication. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, but yeah, I got my follow up poem tomorrow. So hopefully, you know, everything is good. Um, on that note, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here as we say on the end of every I can say the end of every record. Please, let's get this over with. On the end of every episode. Yes. Video. No, at the end every video, yeah. At the end of every video, don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. And don't do medication. <laughs> Yes, I, say say I, no to medication. I <laughs> am doing it because I have to because you know it keeps the pain and the muscles relaxed. Why you have so wild? You because you're acting like I'm sitting up here just doing the the, the stuff. Do, 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 do. I'm trying not to say it because YouTube will censor you, but I'm just saying you know you're trying to act like I'm up here just no, dude. I had surgery, so yeah, a procedure done. So 
Let's see, when I do my surgeries, I come up with all the bandages and, and I all you, that. I promise you, don't want to see none of my <laughs> You sure <showed> don't. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, I may tell y'all about it later on in life, but anyway, so yeah. Uh, and, and also put God fresh, y'all. Hey! How was the 